I've lived in Japan for five years, five and a half years, I suppose now. And, um, and during that time, I learned to eat natto, I've learned to eat whale, I've even eaten live squid. But the one thing in Japan that I absolutely just cannot get used to is the washiki toilet. <laughs> That felt better. I can say the first two years that I lived in Japan, I avoided them completely because I did not know what they were or how to use them properly. When I was a high school exchange student, um, the washiki toilet was the only kind of toilet we had in our school. And we were, my class, my group, was in charge of cleaning the bathroom, and we never did. What's worse is that in the summer, um, bugs like cockroaches and stuff, are attracted to the water and they come out and it's happened too often to me that I've ended up in one of these bathrooms, public bathrooms in the summer and there's cockroaches just crawling around everywhere and spiders and it's really gross. I feel like every time I say I don't want to use one people will blame it on my gaijinness and perhaps it's true. Perhaps it is because I'm a gaijin that I don't want to squat down on the ground close to all the bugs and dirt. But um I've met people, I've met Japanese people who don't eat natto, I've met Japanese people who don't eat shellfish, I've met all kinds of, ma, igai, nahito. So, I'm curious. What is the one thing in Japan that you just can't get used to if you're a gaijin? Furthermore, if you're Japanese, what is one thing in Japan that you can't get used to? Ma, oshiete kudasai. Dewa, talk to you soon, mikaira deshita. Bye! Bye! Now that so many people are following me, I have to wear eye makeup now. The pressures of social networking and social media have taken their toll.